if the paint on our wall would be able to fix pollutants from the air. Inspired by nature, we can design coatings which are both sustainable and have special characteristics. Most coatings, such as paint, are produced using a fossil feedstock. To contribute to the transition towards a circular economy, we research how we can reuse bio-waste and turn them into a green feedstock for coatings. Take for example wood. Wood contains a compound called lignin that gives wood its structural strength. Lignin can be isolated from wood waste and be used as a base material. Another possibility is a building block called chitin, which is found in the shells of shrimps. It has a function similar to lignin. It gives crustacean exoskeletons their strength. In our lab, we break down the wooden shells and turn them into small chemical building blocks. We use the lignin and chitin to turn them into long bio-based molecules, biopolymers. We then grow the biopolymers into thin films, providing us with novel bio-based coatings. But that's not our final goal. We want to be able to make smart coatings, coatings that have special functions. For example, a coating that's able to store, filter or convert gases. We design those functional coatings using molecules mimicking processes found in nature, like fixing pollutants from the air, such as formaldehyde. The coating itself would then serve as a catalyst, enabling or fastening chemical reactions. When applied to the wall, the paint can convert pollutants from the air into harmless compounds using energy from the sun. We study model systems of such novel coatings with the use of highly sensitive microscopy and spectroscopy techniques, we can map the chemical composition of the compound on the nanoscale over the entire surface. When we fully understand the chemical identity of our material, we are able to tailor and optimize the functional coatings of the future, made out of recycled bio-waste.